This beautiful and peaceful garden tomb is situated just outside the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. It is considered by many Christians to be a possible location for the crucifixion and burial of Jesus in a stone tomb. The Bible records tell that Jesus was crucified at Golgotha outside the city of Jerusalem, near a gate of the city and along a major thoroughfare. Right next to the garden tomb is a large rock that many feel could have been Golgotha. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Here you can see a tomb cut out of rock, and you can see where the rolling stone was positioned, and the traditionally low doorway that leads to the burial chamber. The Bible says that when the two disciples came to the tomb on Sunday morning, they had to bend over to enter the tomb. The garden tomb fits the Bible description. And when you visit here, you can understand why there is a belief that this is the authentic site of Jesus' tomb. However, other Bible scholars believe that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the location where Jesus was crucified and his body laid in a stone tomb. Although this church is now inside the old city walls, at the time of Jesus, it would have been outside the city walls. As you enter the church, there is a stone slab believed by many to be the place where Jesus lay in the tomb. But what is important is not which site is the authentic one, but the belief that Jesus was crucified for our sins, buried in a stone tomb and resurrected on the third day to give us the hope of eternal life.